Happy Sunday! We had such a great Easter Sunday last week. Today, we are back with a brand new series. Has anyone told you that life was going to be easy? Probably not, because it's not easy. And if they did, then they're lying. Don't listen to them. You see, life can be full of challenges. Today, we are learning about how God helps us through hard times. Here's our faith fact. God helps me when bad things happen. Now, let's hear from our friend, Dash. Hey everyone, my name is Dash, and this is the Kids Bible Vlog! So, I was thinking, a lot of people believe that when they choose to follow Jesus, it's gonna be easy moving forward. But the truth is, our relationship with God doesn't really stop bad things from happening to us. Kinda like earlier this week, my dad told me to sit down and then he explained that some stuff happened at his work this week and he lost his job. I tried to stay calm, but on the inside, I was freaking out. I just didn't understand why God wouldn't stop something like this from happening to my family. I mean, my dad is an awesome guy. He volunteers at church. He reads his Bible all the time. He even covers his nose when he sneezes. <laughs> but I guess there are a lot of cool people in the Bible who served God, but also had really bad stuff happen to them. Like John the Baptist, Job, or even Joseph. Joseph told the truth and ended up having his brothers throw him in a deep well because of it. Not cool, guys. And then they dragged him out and sold him to be a slave in Egypt. Really not cool, guys. I'm sure Joseph was probably wondering, what did I do wrong? God, do you see this happening to me right now? When bad stuff happens, it's easy to blame God and to wonder why he doesn't do something to stop it. But I think it's important to remember this. God's plan from the very beginning was for us to live in a world without sickness, death, suffering, or evil. He created the Garden of Eden, and people's sin messed it up. But then, because of his love and mercy, he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, so that one day we can go to heaven and spend eternity with him, in a place where there is no pain or suffering. Right now, we live in a world where bad stuff just happens. Jesus said, Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart, because I have overcome the world. When Jesus rose from the dead, he defeated death once and for all. And one day, he's going to return to put an end to all of our suffering. But in the meantime, God promises to be with us in the middle of whatever suffering we face. No matter what happens, we can overcome through the power of the Holy Spirit living inside us. It's okay, Dad, like you've taught me. God's gonna be with us, and God is always with us. If there's one thing to remember today, it's this. God helps me when bad things happen. Well, that's all the time we have for today. So I'll see you here next time at the Kids Bible Vlog! In the book of Genesis, we learn about Joseph. Now here's a quick video of our Bible story. God's story, Joseph. So part of God's story is about a guy named Joseph. And it begins like this. Once there was a guy named Joseph who had 10 older brothers and one younger one. When Joe was a boy, he was his dad's favorite. In fact, his dad liked him so much better than his brothers that he gave Joe a special gift to prove it. You can imagine this made his brothers jealous. And Joe only made things worse. He told his brothers about dreams he had where he was ruling over them. Well, this made Joe's brothers furious. One day they were working and saw Joe coming. They said, here comes that dreamer. They threw Joe into a dark pit. They might have left him there forever, but they met some men traveling from Egypt and sold Joe to them as a servant instead. They thought that was slightly nicer than leaving him in a pit. Then they went home and told their father Joe had been killed by a wild animal. This broke their dad's heart. Kids, these brothers were really bad news. Selling a sibling is never a good idea, ever. But the Bible says the Lord was with Joe. When Joe was a servant, he worked for a really important rich guy named Potiphar. And Potiphar liked Joe so much, he put him in charge of the whole house. Joe was happy until one day he was blamed for something he didn't do, and Potiphar sent him straight to jail. Well, God was still with Joe, even in prison. The guard decided he liked Joe so much, he put him in charge of all the other prisoners. Then God gave Joe special knowledge about dreams. When two prisoners had dreams, Joe knew what they meant, so he told them. 
Two years later, Egypt's ruler called Pharaoh had a dream, and nobody knew what it meant. But by now, one of the two prisoners Joe had helped was out of jail and working for Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh about Joe, and God helped Joe figure out what Pharaoh's dream meant. But Pharaoh's dream was really more of a nightmare. It meant that everybody in Egypt would have food for seven years, then be hungry for seven years. Joe told Pharaoh the only way to survive was to store food during the seven good years. Well, Pharaoh thought Joe's idea was brilliant. He put him in charge. During the seven hunger years, nobody could eat without getting food from Joe. He was like a human vending machine. Well, remember how Joe had 11 brothers? Like everybody else, they had to get food from Joe. And when they came, they didn't even recognize their brother. But Joe knew who they were. He secretly tested them to see if they changed. After all, they did throw him in a pit and sell him. Finally, he couldn't hide who he was from his brothers anymore. He told everyone to leave the room because he was about to cry. After sobbing for a few minutes, he told them, I'm your brother Joseph. I'm the one you sold. The brothers couldn't believe it. They had hurt Joe, but God had taken care of him during the good times and the bad. Even with everything they had done to Joe, he forgave them because he was willing to follow God, even when it was hard. Joe told them, you plan to harm me, but God planned it for good. And God used Joe to save many lives, including the family that was part of God's special rescue plan. And that's the story of Joseph. Just like Joseph, we need to trust that God helps us when bad things happen. Let's learn three things. Number one, God doesn't promise us a life without trouble. Let's play a quick game. Put your hands up. Now put a finger down if you've fallen and hurt yourself badly enough that you needed stitches. Put a finger down if you've ever dropped or hit something and broke it. Put a finger down if you've ever had someone say or do something that hurt your feelings. Put a finger down if you've ever had a hard day. Put a finger down if someone you love passed away. Now put a finger down if you've lost something you really cared for. Put a finger down if you've ever felt alone. Now put all your fingers down if you feel like you agree with this. Some people think that following Jesus means that all of our problems should go away. I mean, that sounds really good, but that's not what happens when we follow God. Jesus told his followers that they would have hard days in the world. And that's because this world is broken. Heaven is the only place where there is no more bad things. And until we go there, we need to know that every single one of us is going to go through bad things. Whether it's today or many years later, we can be ready to go through it with God's help. Number two, God is with us when bad things happen. Now, who is the person you go to when bad things happen? When they try to make you feel better when you're hurt or sad? Got someone in mind? It could be your mom, your dad, brother or sister, a grandparent, or someone really close. But what happens when those people aren't there when you need them? In those moments, we can remember that God is with us when bad things happen. We never have to feel completely alone because he's here with us. Number three, we hurt when bad things happen to other people. When I go through a hard day, it means a lot to me to know that other people care about what's happening to me. Knowing that someone else cares makes a huge difference. God knows the things that are hard for us, and He is there to help. Those hard things are called burdens. We shouldn't only care when bad things happen to us, but we should also care when bad things happen to other people. Now here is our memory verse for this series. In the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, it says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.